Hi guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So yes, as you must have read in the title already, in this video we are going to be talking about PCOD. So even though this thing has become very very common these days and can happen to any female out there, still there are people who do not know much about this thing which is quite surprising. So recently I posted on my community tab wherein I asked you guys that if you want me to talk about something that I have been dealing with, I actually felt that there is a need for me to put this out on my channel because even my friends, a lot of my friends or my colleagues who I meet every day, even they did not have clue about PCOD, a lot of them which was quite surprising. Now, to be very honest, PCOD is a term coming out uh, a lot on social media from past two years, I guess. Now, I won't say that it is very much surprising because this is all in our head because a lot of people like me would think that it cannot happen to me because, you know, I have had regular periods all my life. So this is not something that is going to happen to me, which I thought when I first heard about PCOD. So I first heard about PCOD from another YouTuber, I think Sejal Kumar, when she had this chat session with her mom. So, you know, I also skipped her video. I just watched like two minutes and I was like, okay, this is not something that is going to happen to me. So I kind of skipped it. So now let me tell you that what are the things that I was doing wrong in my life which led to this thing. Now not saying that, you know, I invited it forcefully in my life. But you know, when I came to know about the reasons, I was quite shocked. And that is why I want to address this thing on my channel because, you know, there might be a lot of you who do not know about this. A lot of you might be going through the similar kind of a thing. And, you know, our body actually gives us hints, but we tend to ignore it. So that is why I want to put this information out there for you guys to know. And if any of the males who are watching this, just do not skip this video thinking, oh, this is not important for me or something. Because, you know, there might be a lot of women in your life, your mom, your sister, your partner, anyone who might be facing these kind of issues or just to make them aware, I think you should be sharing this information. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So I'm basically going to be talking about my experience in this video. Now please do not go like her, she's talking about this on her channel because I think we should be talking about these things because these are very very common and should be addressed and people should be aware about these things. So yeah, keep watching. I will begin from the time when we first get our periods, which is during age of 12 or 13, I guess. I was in class 8 when I got my first periods. And during the first few months or I, let's say for a year, it is not regular for a lot of people. But I remember from class 9th till the time I came to know that I have PCOD which was just three to four months ago. So I never missed even a single period date. So, you know, I thought this is not something that is going to happen to me whenever I came across such articles. Even when my friends or colleagues used to talk about, you know, their periods are getting delayed for like 10 days or five days. Mine were really, really regular. So I never cared about these things. I never downloaded any kind of a period tracking app to track periods. So when I said that our body actually gives us correct signals to get ourselves checked, but we tend to ignore it. So I would tell you the first hints that I was getting, I guess in 2018, April, when I felt that I am kind of putting on a lot of weight. So that is because of our lifestyle. You know that I work in an IT company where we have to sit for long, long hours. Even after having our lunch, we go to the same seat, do our stuff, and we are just sitting for long, long hours. So I did not have a lot of active lifestyle, to be very honest. Even though during the weekends, I would just, you know, shoot a video and then I would edit it sitting for long, long hours. So this is what my routine was. So just because I was gaining weight and my mom had thyroid, so my mom asked me to go and get it checked. So in April last year, I got myself, you know, a few tests done and it was all fine. 
no i was not at all you know thinking about pcod at that point because everything was normal and then after exact 11 months i guess my period stopped coming just before 2 months i felt that my periods were scantier and i also addressed this to my mom but we thought okay this is normal but then when it actually stopped and i waited for like 10 20 days that's when i went to the gynecologist and that's when she told me to get the ultrasound done and it was in my reports that i had pcod and one of the ovary size was enlarged because of the cyst surrounding it which was preventing the periods from coming for those of you who do not know let me tell you that pcod stands for polycystic ovarian disease and because the cysts were multiple in number that is why you know polycystic so that's when she asked me about couple of things which i would really really like to address here and you know take care of these things for all the girls who are watching and for all the boys out there kindly share this video to spread awareness to all the females in your life so she mentioned a couple of things that i would like to address here which you girls have to take care of So the number one is food habits. So as you guys know that I was living away from my family for the longest time. So I was eating out a lot of times, and, and you guys have seen so many videos on my channel wherein I went trying a lot of street food. So yes, I love trying street food. I admit that I was eating a lot of junk. So that was the very first thing that she told me that I had to change in my life. The second thing that I was doing wrong all this while was my sleeping cycle was terribly wrong. When I say this, I actually know how many times my father told me to sleep on time, wake up on time, but my sleep cycle was terribly wrong. I would not play my work for it because it was something that I actually set my body clock like this. Only I used to come from office, then I used to edit my videos, do different things, and slowly it became a habit. It became so difficult for me to sleep before two or three o'clock. So that is what was terribly wrong. And if you fall in that category, I would just, you know, request you guys to change that thing. kindly try to sleep on time and wake up on time that is on you how you want to decide it what things you are doing in life that totally depends on you but please try to have a sleep cycle and stick to it so the third thing that she told me was my not so active lifestyle so i would admit it that i was not doing any exercise before now now i don't have a choice i have to lose weight so i am practicing these things but at that point in time i was not doing any of that i was eating junk i was you know not having an active lifestyle i was sleeping late so that is why she told me that all of us who are saying that we are living the so called urban lifestyle are facing these issues you know one out of five girls today is facing this pcod issue so this has to be addressed now i'm coming to the last but not the least and very important factor or cause which leads to pcod that is the number fourth which is stress so yeah uh, not everyone will have the courage to talk about the kind of stress they are dealing with in their lives but everybody is having some sort of you know things going on in their lives so just like that even i had things go going on in my family and so many other things that happen right there are people like my mom she believes in you know jo hoga dekha jayega wala funda and she doesn't stress over things much and then there is my father who would you know think about things a lot and i think i've got this thing from him i kind of overthink about each and everything which you know causes a lot of stress so yeah that is there which i had to change in myself i know stress is something that we cannot probably you know just take out from life just like that but there are things that we can do i am practicing yoga and meditation little bit these days i'm taking time out for that because you know now i have to anyway do it and it actually makes me feel so good and I would like to discuss all the things all the changes that I have made in my life if if you guys would want me to talk about it I do not want this video to be very very long as I said that I'm not sure who all might be interested 
and one more thing for all those people who are facing PCOD guys try and avoid allopathic treatment when it comes to PCOD because you know these people will put you on hormones and that way your body will slowly forget functioning on their own and it will become prone to act according to those pills that you're taking and once you stop taking that you will get to know that your body has kind of forgotten everything and homeopathy treatment is slow but i think it is the best so yes guys this was it for today's video and before going i would just want to address one thing here because you know this thing is very common these days we tend to mock people for their physical appearance, their body weight, their height and a lot of things which we should not be doing because many a times it is not in their control. It can be hormonal, it can be related to any other health issue that those people might be facing. So if you are someone who are just into you know joking or fooling around it with your friends, do it but do not relate it to their physical appearance. So yes, this was it for today's video guys. I will see you next time. Until then, stay healthy, keep smiling.